Welcome back everyone to StarCraft 2, your hero Randall Lefebvre, otherwise known as Drax Craven, when it's time to begin, I'm sorry, Heart of the Swarm. I think it should be Fury of the Swarm. Whatever. Swarm things are happening. I didn't choose the Swarm life. The Swarm life chose me. Hello, Blizzard. How are the Lost Vikings treating you? Go for it. Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect use of Wilhelm Scream. Are you all right, Sarah? I would go as far to say that things are not all right with Sarah. And I will be calling her Sarah. With the disappearance of the Queen of Blades, the Zerg Swarm has been shattered. Jim Rayner's rebel forces have smuggled Sarah Kerrigan off Char, leaving the planet to General Warfield and the Dominion. Meanwhile, the powerful Zelnagar artifact has mysteriously disappeared! In a hidden base on the Emojin Protectorate, Rayner and Prince Valerian have been conducting tests to ensure that Kerrigan's return to humanity is complete. But they are running out of time. Throughout the sector, Emperor Minsk's forces carry out a relentless hunt for the Dominion's most hated enemy, Sarah Kerrigan. Rope planetoid cataloged. Planet so fucking useless, doesn't even have a name. What up, Jimmy? Open the door, son. Valerian's orders, sir. No visit. Open the door. Okay, the lift seems a little extra. Good morning, Commander. Junior. <laughs> Gentlemen, the test protocol will begin in two minutes.
the most of this test. It's your last one. Now give us a minute. Very well. We're getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Mengsk. Forget Mengsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Nah, Jimmy, you don't understand. Until Mengsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, sir. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating it's not about revenge. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us. Test phase two commencing. It should go without saying that Jim is very important to Sarah. He's the only person here that treats her like what a are human you being. To get out of these tests, Valerian. I told you, I don't remember anything about being the Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? When we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Do you know what could happen? All the test subjects are in a secure environment. Secure, eh? So yes, in spite of her humanity, okay. the next step. See if you can order the drone to mutate into a hatchery. She can still control the Zerg. A hatchery is the central structure of the Zerg base. It spreads creep so that other structures can be built. Thank you, Edge. The hatchery also produces lava, which you use to morph into more drones or other Zerg creatures. When you use lava, the hatchery will replenish them over time. So, yeah. Okay, Kerrigan. I'm releasing more drones into the test chamber. See if you can order them to gather those resources. Uh... Fuck, there was something I wanted to say. Right, so, yeah. Um... Zerg generally tend to build things in bursts. Um, you can have... How many larvae can you have around a hatchery? I think you can have three larvae around a hatchery. You're doing Look well, at them. Kerrigan. Look at the little guys. Morph more drones? I need an overlord to morph anything else. Do it then. One overlord shouldn't hurt. Of course not. The Zerg use overlords to generate more supply. Your current supply maximum is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen, along with how much supply you are currently using. If you do not have enough available supply, you will not be able to morph a unit. So what overlords do is that they, uh, in, in the original StarCraft, their supply was referred to as control. Um, and it was a matter of how many, uh, how many Zerg units, like, you could control uh, based on uh, how, how, how many overlords you had. Uh, presumably without enough of them to boost your psionic abilities. Stop here, but let's take this a little further. Try mutating a drone into a spawning pool. Um, without morphing uh, more overlords, you wouldn't have enough psionic control to get um, all of the all of the Zerg to you know play ball, play nice, do what they're supposed to do. Um, and I know what you're thinking. Well, she's the Queen of Blades. Well, she's not the Queen of Blades anymore. 
So uh, she needs overlord just like anyone else. I kind of wish that if your overlords got killed, your units would just start frenzying and murdering each other. But unfortunately, that's not how that works. Wait, you want to deliver that before you start morphing because that shit's gone forever. Yeah, overlords don't really do much. You know this is going to end badly, right? We have a controlled environment. Really? Um, overlords used to be used for transporting units the over air. Is finished. You should go down to the test chamber and inspect it. I can see just fine from up here, thanks. I think that's all we need today, Kerrigan. Great work. If you think that was great work, wait till you see this. I'll make some zerglings. Zerglings are pretty cool. Kerrigan, what are you doing? Putting your controlled environment to the test. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you get, pay 50 minerals, once, uh, one control, and you get two zerglings. They're just a hoot. Just the diddly darn best. Can I morph the drones into anything else? I cannot. 35 health, 5 damage, no armor. They're not great, but you can make a shit ton of them. Stop! I didn't ask you to create zerglings! Funny thing about zerg, Valerian... They never do what you expect. Shut down the experiment. Get sentry bots in there to sanitize those holding cells. Lock down on the sublevel and power up the eradicator. Nothing gets out. Maybe if I destroy your pretty eradicator, you'll learn you can't control the Zerg. We're just teaching him a lesson. Nobody has to die. Hopefully. Oh wow, these sentry bots suck. Who the fuck invented these things? I sense more zerglings and holding pens. Valerian, you were very careless. Perhaps I'll free them too. Zerg units slowly regenerate hit points over time. But quite frankly, these things are sort of intended to be expendable. Containment breach. Zerg specimens free. Evacuate the scientists. Get all personnel out of there. Um, Zerg units move faster on creep, but we're going to have a hard time getting a lot of creep in here. Oh, no. What did you do to that hydralist? Come on out, boys. The water's fine. Good. I can use them. Oh, it's a robot. Lab bot 1x. I don't want to break it. Feels wrong. Oh my god, these sentry bots are so bad. Kerrigan, this is not a game. It never is with the Zerg. And I ain't playing. If anyone is acting like this is a game, you are, Valerian. And you fucked up. The Zerg played a win, you silly billy. Oh god. Zerglings are effective against certain units and very not effective against others. Zerg, run! Damn it! Get all personnel off that level! Woo! Look at these little sentry guns! Look at them! They do four damage! It's all out of control. Containment door closed. Automated gas defense activated. Hmm. That containment door won't open until I destroy those turrets. Which turrets? Do, do you want me to run in and destroy the gas emitters? Is that what you're asking me to do? Or do you want me to go around? Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Oh, this gas sucks. Larian, you need to get some better gas. I don't think this is doing anything. As it turns out, Valerian got his poison gas on the cheap. Now to destroy the eradicator. Idiot. Don't fucking buy cheap poison gas when you're dealing with the fucking Zerg, dude. Eep. The Zerglings are a little caught up. 
understand. They are very small and very stupid. How many Zerglings did you make? You have more Zerglings here. Well, they're mine now. You see, this is how the Zerg Swarm started. Um... Uh, Terrans were experimenting on them, and they were like, Oh, no, this is fine, and then everything went to shit. Uh, back in the days of the Confederacy. Your forces are under attack. Oh, do I see two holding bays? Oh, my. What the hell is that? I don't even know. I can't I can't even get a good look at it. Is it a zergling they got on the operating table? Made your point, Kerrigan. Not yet I haven't. I'm still in your containment cell. But say fuck that. I ain't made my point yet. Eradicator activated. Forces are under oh boy, it does 10 damage with its peacekeepers and it has 600 health. This thing is fucked. Luck has Luck nothing, had to, do with nothing it. to do with it. And maybe now you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now if you'd like to join me. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying half the facility. I really couldn't. Valerian is not the type to understand. Rat race? Hey! I, d I did a thing! All right, uh, oh, I did not destroy all three factories. Oh, darn. All right. Ooh. Oh, you get one for just for doing it. Participation trophy. Well, you showed up. All right, that'll do for this episode of StarCraft II. Fury of the Swarm. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, if you liked what you saw, like. If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. If you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. If you think that awesome shit. Fuck, it's been so long since I did my outro, because I don't do outros on videos longer than 20 minutes.